Right, hey there guys and welcome back to some more Sunset Overdrive. Um, this is episode 11 in the last part. What did we do? Uh, we tried escaping over the wall and uh, in the fucking flying uh, chopper thing and it sort of crashed down into burning flames. So <laughs> now we are we have got to go speak to Walter. So we're going to go do that now. Hey, I bet Let's you're go. wondering how Walter and I ended up together. I just assumed you were twin brothers. So many similarities. We met at a party, or was it the DMV? I can't remember. Anyway, one thing I do remember is Walter didn't judge me for how I looked, how I talked, how I dressed. He told me, don't judge people, judge their actions. He was he kind of a zen motherfucker that way, and I loved him for it. He and I talked about you a lot. Uh oh, my character moment sense is tingling. There's something special about you. But it's buried beneath a whole lot of wise ass. Oh, gee whiz, thanks for the revelation, Freud. Damn it, I just proved your point, didn't I? Like I said, man, I don't judge people, just their actions. Yeah. My point is, don't let you get in the way of yourself. Did you just cook up a philosopher amp or something? <laughs> this game is really fun. Uh, I have been having a little... Like I don't even know. Just riding around, not even riding around, but just flipping your way around this Sunset City is amazing. And, uh, it's a ton of fun. It's fresh. It's um, it's new. It's nothing ever before done. And the style of it is awesome too. So uh, yeah. Senior troop. But these yeah. aren't all little kids, roast marshmallows, and tying knots. They're older, uh. more focused on life skills, volunteering, conservations, and shit like that. So basically, the anti me. Hey, you said it, not me. Main word I'd use to describe Sunset Overdrive. And that word is fun. It is such a good game. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Break that shit down. The next one, of course, is Assassin's Creed. Unit. I'm going to be doing about two videos a day for Sunset Overdrive. That's my goal. Uh, so you can keep you guys entertained. And Real cream. Hello. Look at these traps. Nice designs. Outside. I will not be defeated by a locked door. Plan B <laughs> to the roof. Good idea, man. I'm a ninja breaking into a Japanese museum. Go <laughs> to the window looking in there. Oh shit, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. How did you get in here? I'm looking for a guy named Brill Cream. Troop Master Brill Cream is missing. Well maybe I can help <laughs> you find him. Maybe you'll be lucky if I let you live. Kind of a dick, huh? Treason! Arrest for Kim and banish her from the troop. <laughs> Chill out, Mussolini. I am the troop master, and this is my troop. <laughs> oh, man, are you going to tell me where Brill Cream is or what? You want to find Brill Cream? You must do as I say. I bet he is. Okay, we're going to do another one. It's four minutes in, so we are going to do another. Damn, fireworks. Man. My troop has been trying to locate Troop Master Brill Cream via radio. But all they hear is this. Doctors recommend drinking 17 cans of overcharge a day. <laughs> the radio station is located here. If you destroy all 
three transmitters around the tower. Okay. We have a better chance of locating Troopmaster Brillcree. So okay, let's do it. You think you can do that? Of course I can. Sure thing. Be right back. Alright, let's go. <laughs> Holy fuck. This place is like a death trap. What is that? Oh, he's over there. Like this? Oh shit. Sweet. I didn't even have to check game facts. <laughs> no, you don't, dude. You just watch my okay, Shit, that's fun. Holy shit. Looks like that kicked the hornet's nest. Bounce bag. Holy shit.
Doing well. What? Oh shit. <laughs> Can we fuck that? <laughs> I like this one that way. Alright guys, we're going to leave the video here. I hope you've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Have a great day.